what's up y'all welcome back to another vlog this is just gonna be a one day vlog a um more so girls night out vlog slash a little bit of body care i look a mess i look like i need so much work done and i do my body needs some care my head needs some care so what i'm about to do is about to transform one thing about a girl is that she can transform okay i can look like a crackhead in one moment and in another i'm giving beyonce not legit beyonce but you know what i mean she's giving whatever needs to be gave but i just got back home because this cannot function without food so i made sure i picked up some food so i got this pizza from Target. It's a spinach, feta, olive, and arugula pizza. Oh, wow. I just realized it don't have chicken on it. That is disheartening. Oh my God. Anyway, I usually get the chicken pesto pizza by the Good and Ganther brand, but they didn't have it. So I'm gonna try this. It also comes with some sort of um, balsamic glaze packet. I don't know if I'm gonna utilize that, but I mean, it don't look horrible, but it's, in my mind, it'll be edible. It'll get something on my stomach so that I can get through what I need to get through at home so I can go out tonight. So, anyway, besides that, I made a lot of mistakes in Ulta today, and I'm going to share them with you. So, first of all, for the girls who have already heard about this, the Coconut Lime Shave Oil by Tree Hut is a phenomenon on youtube so i said let me get some let me try it because all y'all talking about it like this i must have some um i also got their face scrub i was looking at the ingredients let's focus here there we go i was looking at the ingredients in it and it has um basically everything is like pretty much safe for my face um it just has the glycerin the um, silica, the hydrogenated castor oil, um, the blueberry fruit extract, the turmeric root extract, shea butter, aguave, and um, tiliana leaf extract, aloe, um, leaf juice, lactic acid, and water. So I think this will be pretty safe for my face. So I'm going to use this as a face scrub today. And then I also, of course, just got some restocks, which this is the Mario Badescu. Can you, there we go. The Mario Badescu setting spray um, facial mist. I like this just for like hydration. Like if I'm feeling dry, it gives me what I need. And then I am trying the ColourPop um, Hyaluronic Tinted Moisturizer. The girls are saying this is given. At least my friend group is saying this is given. So I'm going to try this out. And y'all, y'all know I'm a fiend. Like, the biggest for a perfume. And this week, I tried this um, Nemet Fragrance Oil. Isn't it the cutest little bottle? Like, it's so cute. So this lady in line was buying this and the cashier was like, oh my gosh, you like it? And she was like, yeah, I love it. I get so many compliments. Like the smell is very projective. It gives you what you need, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what is it? I heard fragrance and people compliment and smell. And she was like, oh, it's the amber oil. So I go over there and I put this oil on my wrist and I'm like, woo. Like it was hitting me, okay? Like smelling real good, but it was very fragrant and very, like it projected so much. I was like, I gotta have that. But then I looked and it's not amber, it's vanilla musk. So with that being said, I got the vanilla musk. I tried the amber, she wasn't giving, like I don't smell much. It's very clean if that's the case, cause, but that vanilla musk, whoa. So I'm definitely gonna be layering this with my scents for tonight so I can be, oh, Smelling so very good. But yeah, y'all. So if y'all see the Vanilla Musk Nemet Fragrance Oil at your local Sephora. No, we're at, we're at Ulta. Pick it up. It's worth it. You know, fragrance oils are more, um, they're supposed to be better just because it's an oil versus an alcohol base. So it's, you know, it kind of 
stains the skin and what's up y'all welcome back to another vlog and this vlog is gonna be a weekend vlog because within a few hours my weekend got busy so i just got out the shower and i am currently about to put this leave-in conditioner in my hair it's the miguel pomegranate leave-in conditioner it smells great but also does wonders for my hair so I'm gonna put this in and just kind of let my hair air dry a little bit because I'm about to go out for a little bit with the girls it's Friday so why not you know um it's Kelsey's birthday and she's going to the Eleanor for drinks for her birthday so I told her that I would try to make it originally I had other plans I'm normally working so this is kind of exciting like oh I'm kid free and I'm not working what let's go although I have responsibilities in the morning I have to work but you know let's just have a little fun for a night so I'm about to wash my face I've, now that I've put my body oil on my conditioner in my hair I am about to um, wrap my hair up in a t-shirt and wash my face real good and moisturize and get ready for the night so y'all get to just kind of watch me get ready this is not a get ready with me because <laughs> no but we are about to get ready to go somewhere but yeah so stay tuned east west coast okay y'all so i want to talk about a few things while i get ready so for one tiktok has been <laughs> flooded with the whole male um podcast like redos where the girls is dressing up or putting the male filter over their face and they're acting like the men that are on the podcast and the amount of videos of girls making these videos is actually uh, underwhelming because <laughs> These podcasts, but the thing is, not even just these podcasts, like just hearing some of the stuff they're saying reminds me so much of stuff that these men be trying to say to us. Like, I was watching one the other day and it was like, um, if I cheat on her, it's one thing, but if she cheat on me, she a hoe. If she cheat back, she a hoe. My mama, my daddy dogged my mama and she never cheated. Like, well, your mama needed to leave, baby, because I'm confused. Your mama needed to do better because she ruined you, unfortunately. And, you know, Summer Walker was so right when she said, I want to start with your mama. She should have whooped your ass. But somebody should have whooped your mama's ass, too, because she was sitting around there with your punk ass did. Anyway. That ain't my business. It's just my thought. But, anyway, I feel like we live in such a generation of, um, Mm, what is the word desperation our generation of women are desperate yeah I said it here first including myself I've done some desperate shit and I'm gonna tell you why because if you really think about the standards that men have to uphold to there's really none and then when they are being taken place like now women are healing women are valuing themselves women are doing better for themselves women are trying to um be that girl so now when we present these standards to these men, they're confused and they don't know how to live up to them because they've been so low for so long. Now they're confused and they're like, well, I never had to do this, but now you're, you're requiring me to do things. It's sick, actually. So I some some of it I blame on us because at the end of the day, we were accepting nonsense. But honestly, like even with myself, like I am learning now. I'm almost 30. But I'm learning now, like, what I like, what I don't like from the man. What's a turn off? What I require you to do if you're going to deal with me and what I'm not going to deal with. But it's like, men literally be confused as to why we are requiring things from them now. Why is there a standard to uphold? They are very confused. And it's it's annoying. But also, not to, not to put all the blame on us because these men are and i'm not saying all men like let's let's be clear because all men are not bad all men are not misogynistic 
all men are not narcissists all men are not dogs like there are some good men out there where are they I don't know I've never seen them myself but I do believe they're out there but as far as us women go I just feel like we need to continue to hold the bar high for ourselves and for the men that we choose to let be in our lives because honestly it's a privilege to be in our life and I feel like the roles are reversing men are feeling like they're the prize and it's just like no bro I'm sorry it's not you and not saying that men are not a prize as well but what I'm saying is like men are acting like women and women are acting like men like men are wanting to be taken out and taken care of they don't want to put any work in I hear so many men like um if she not applying pressure did you date her? Did you court her? Did you give her any reason to apply pressure? You know, that's my question. And no, they haven't. Most of them haven't. They actually are just wanting a woman, I guess, to just like them based, based off the strength. And no, like, that's not enough. But, you know, those little podcasts, little redos that girls are doing are quite funny because it really, like, you really do hear men say these things. And today, I was actually watching the little clip of Brittany Renner basically handing the Nice and Neats uh, podcast ass to them because they are really rude and disrespectful for unnecessary reasons. Like, he told her that she wasn't special. Like, when it comes to men and women, like, women are all the same. They all are dating for either an opportunity, commitment, or something, um, some type of substance from a relationship. And men just want sex. And basically, he told her she wasn't special because she, she got a vagina. There's plenty of holes out there. Holes, not holes. Holes out there. And basically... Like, she ain't the only girl out there with one. So, with that being said, you're not special. And I really liked her response. She was just like, okay, so what makes you special? Because, see, men got it twisted. You get to talk shit, but then when it gets flipped on, you can't answer. Because then he's like, oh, now you're attacking me. No. No. I'm asking the same question. What makes you special? Because if you ask me, that little light-skinned man, um, I think he's Indian. I'm not sure what his race or nationality is. But I really think he was picked on in school. He didn't get no pussy. And now that he's of a certain status in life, now women pay him attention because he's at this status and has money. So now he's like, all women want is money. Da, 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 da. They don't want you, bro. It's okay. And I understand. You mad? You hate women. And that's okay. But just don't, don't project that on women out here in the world trying to trying to do better for themselves and just trying to I mean I ain't saying Brittany Renner is the best woman in the world because she ain't she didn't have her fair share of things but like really who hasn't like there's a lot of girls out here doing stuff for money and not but like she's told her part of the story and like we ain't heard that the fact that she said he was cheating on her that's why she left so you know we really don't know there's three sides to every story her side his side and the truth I feel like I'm just talking about a lot of stuff but they also told her that at her level, she would only date a certain caliber of men. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Because it's hot. What is happening? Anyway, that um, the type of man she's going to deal with, cheating is just on the table. Like, she has to deal with it because that's what men going to do. And personally, I feel like it's bullshit to, to think that just because a man has status, money, or he's a certain caliber of man, that gives him the right to cheat. I think that's a cop-out, and really what it's saying to me is that you're weak, and you don't have any self-restraint, and that you don't know how to conduct yourself as a man who's committed to a woman. That's what it tells me. Because, really, um, as a woman, if you make a lot of money, and you got money, can you cheat? Because I got money and I'm of a certain status. Like, no, it's a double standard. But it's also not right. Like, I really just don't get this generation. Like, I don't understand. I really was born in the wrong time. Because I just don't understand why we can't just do right by each other. You know? Like, why is cheating glorified and tried to make okay? Like, really, you're sick. You're sick and I can't take it anymore. Like, cheating is not okay. 
Um, I don't think all men cheat. I do think men cheat till they're ready to stop. Until they're truly ready to just be committed. But who knows when that is. And most of them are going to wait until they're so old. Nobody wants them anyway. But that's neither here or there. You know, that's just my spill on it. There's just so many things. Like, I really don't like men at this time in my life. It's not even that I don't like men. I'm just really more so disappointed. Like, men are very disappointing. Like, the lack of effort, the lack of trying to just do right. Like, this whole polygamy shit got you niggas' heads wrapped the wrong direction. I don't know what's wrong with girls and why they agree to do polygamy, but I ain't her. So... There'll never be a day on earth. heaven, heaven, mm. there'll never be a day on this good green earth that God created that you're going to catch me in a polygamous relationship. And you can mark my words and you can come back and say it as far as January 28th, 2000, what is today? Yes, January 28th, 2022, 7.53 p.m. You'll never catch me in a polygamous relationship. And I can bet that. You'll never. Because what? First of all, I'll never be in a relationship. These polygamous relationships, I'll be confused because what is the benefit? I don't see nobody that I know personally. I only know one person in a polygamous relationship. But other people I've even heard talk about it, they don't have nothing. And you know the whole so-called purpose of polygamy is to be in a relationship that financially benefits the family. The whole dynamic of the people. But y'all still be broke. I'm just confused. No shade, you know. But I don't get it. But that's not my business. I need to get ready to go. I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Hey, y'all. So, I'm all ready to go. We, um, I'm late. I'll still be at 7.30. It is 8.30. 8.37 to be exact. And I'm really late. But, listen, your girl didn't gain about 15 pounds. And it is showing in everything I put on. And I don't like that. So I just throw on some sweats, some like little joggers, um, throw some joggers, little boot, excuse my laundry back there, a leather jacket with a gray bodysuit, <sighs> and y'all, I'm just, I know, see this is, this is called camouflaging, because the girl is heavy these days, very much heavy, but... My booty still look good. It gains weight too, so I like that. But anyway, I'ma see y'all at the function. That's me. Then dip me underway. Okay, y'all, so I didn't came to Pier 88 because I'm hungry, and it's late, and I'm by myself, so why not? Although going out to eat by yourself can be weird, I don't care. I'm about to eat, so let go.
like in the bed. You don't take breaks, you won't fuck on the dead. Head stop, get some curse for the. Okay, y'all, I'm taking a short intermission from work to go to Trader Joe's because they have me so messed up on Sundays because there's too many people in there and it don't mean no food. So I said, let me carry myself on up here so I can get this stuff, so I can have it in the household, so I can eat right during the week. Oh, all right. Now, look here. Um, yeah, so we got to go to Trader Joe's and grab a few things before my next client. And I just want to say, whoa, the sun is bright. My God. Um, if you want to eat in healthy journey, please tell me what y'all eat for snacks, what y'all like to snack on, munch on, meals you be eating, because me, I be struggling. I really do. I'm trying to do better. But I like to eat. I like food. I like how it tastes. I like how it makes me feel. I'm not an emotional eater or anything like that. I just like food. And I really don't eat like horrible. I just eat a lot. Like, and rice. I really like rice. And I don't know why. I never used to be a huge rice eater. But in my latter years, I'm like, do we got some rice? Do we got some rice? Does it have rice? Like, you know, my starch of choice is rice. You know, I don't want the potatoes. They cool and all, but give me some rice. But I'm about to try these um, so-called, ooh, it's hot. Um, these protein bars from Trader Joe's that everybody been raving about on the TikTok. You know, the TikTok, if the TikTok tell you something, you have to try it. And nine times out of ten, they don't steer you wrong because the snacks I be getting at Trader Joe's from the TikTok, the TikTok, and the TikTok groups I'm in, they be slapping. And just the stuff I try from TikTok in general, I really be liking or enjoying. Okay, so I don't have a tripod, so this camera is constantly doing what it wants to do, but it's on my dashboard. But yeah, we're about to go to Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna see y'all in a minute because if my camera falls, I'm gonna try. So we're gonna, we're gonna put it up for right now. Oh, we're supposed to go down. Okay guys, it is much, much later. We have made it downtown. So I can take pictures for Bree's boutique. Gabby is with me today. Hi. She's holding some of our props, but I will see y'all once we get in there. And another woman that can take your spotlight. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me. If I told you you were beautiful, would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world, but I ain't seen myself another girl like you. This ring here represents my heart, but there's just one thing I need from you. Say I do. Because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, and gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. Okay, we are all dressed. <laughs> New Valentine's looks come in for she looks. But I'm gonna get off here because this music ain't about to get me in the background. See what 
What's the point in waiting anymore? Cause girl, I've never been more sure The baby is you This ring here represents my heart And everything that you've been waiting for Just say I do Because I can see us holding hands Walking on the beach, our toes in the sand